New mural is in progress on a main street in downtown Providence right here. Right now in all white, it reads all black lives matter. 12 news started getting phone calls about it, so we went out to check it out. And during that process, we learned black lives matter. Rhode Island is not behind it and actually felt blindsided by it. Sheena Lasciuto has more on the display from Kennedy Plaza. Well, if you're walking around downtown Providence near the Kennedy Plaza area, you might have noticed this. The roads blocked off and there's fresh paint on the ground. We started asking questions to find out more about who's behind this and why it's going up now. With each stroke of a paintbrush, the message is being spelled out for Rhode Islanders. We want people to understand that this is an invitation for people to come. This is not a, just a an action of resistance. This is an invitation for people to come to learn about the history. By Monday, local artists will fill in the blanks on Washington Street, and a new mural will read All Black Lives Matter with colorful designs. We asked co-facilitator Rodney Davis why now. He says why not. Black lives in our country are not valued. They do not matter to a great number of folks. So this is a protest, but a silent one. A city spokesperson says the project is privately funded and RISD gave a large portion of the funds. It's been in the making for more than a year. At one point, a paint shortage delayed plans, but it's the conversation that Davis says is long overdue. People are gonna be talking about it. People are gonna be taking the bus and gonna be going, wow, what is that? That causes question. And it, and it will cause discourse. Discourse is okay. We, you know, what we're trying to do is be decisive and not divisive. We want to see things grow. It's a total slap in the face to me. However, the mural came as a shock to Black Lives Matter Rhode Island. Leaders say they weren't asked to be a part of the process and only found out about it as the rollers hit the pavement. We want to work with everybody. We're, you know, we're all inclusive. We want to work with every race, every creed, every ethnicity, uh, especially our own, you know. And to have Black Lives Matter mural slapped down in the middle of Kennedy Plaza with us not knowing anything about it, to me, that goes against everything that we're out here fighting for on the front lines. City officials say the mural will call this street home for about two years. Reporting in Providence, I'm Sheena Lusciuto, 12 News.